Welcome to the 7-Minute Marketing Podcast with your host, Pam Didner. As a leading marketing and sales enablement strategist, keynote speaker, and author, Pam created this podcast to share her professional experience and insights and help you achieve better alignment between sales and marketing. If you enjoy this podcast, please share it with your colleagues and leave a review on iTunes. Now let's get started. A listener of this podcast, Chris, posted a question. What is the best way to integrate branding and messaging into sales? How can marketing help sales stay on brand? First of all, let's define what brand is. What does brand or branding mean? A brand is beyond a logo for sure. It's how a company as a whole presents itself, how employees behave, and how customers perceive the company. In a way, a brand is a business organization, or entity's identity. Branding is the act of creating that brand. And J.B. Ayer said it nicely. Branding is the art of aligning what you want people to think about your company with what people actually do think about your company and vice versa. If brand is everything a business, organization, or entity does, then sales represents that vision of the company in a very personal way. Therefore, they need to thoroughly understand the essence of a company's brand. And the best way to train sales about that is to incorporate the branding or brand as a part of the sales onboarding and a continuous training. Many companies have formal sales onboarding with one to two days of training. As a part of that agenda, they usually have one-hour sessions about brand. A brand manager will come in and talk about the essence of a brand, brand personas in the context of corporate cultures and brand guidelines, such as logo usage, color palette, and will even share presentation templates. Some of them will even discuss how to use logos with partners and the customers if sales plan to do cold marketing. For companies that don't have formal onboarding, I'd recommend you check with your marketing manager. You need to know where the brand guide is and how to use logo tagline colors correctly. At the bare minimum, use the official company's templates to create your presentations. Chris also asked about messaging. I define messaging as what salespeople can or should say about products, services, offerings, and the company. The most frequently asked question when I was working with sales for new product launches was what can they say about new products? Therefore, it's important to arm your salespeople with talking points in the product messaging. Talking point can change depending on sales stage and the individual salespeople. However, salespeople still need some baseline to start with, right? So for a new product, there are new features. Therefore, how should we prioritize the features? What are the key benefits? you need to provide some guidelines about the key features and benefits that salespeople can highlight when they engage with customers. It's like giving comedians a script. They may not follow the script completely, but the script gives comedians something to start with and improvise around. And that's what messaging does. It gives salespeople talking points for new products They can pick and choose what to say and how to say it using their best judgment in the situation they are in. So what is the best way to communicate messaging? Well, the best way to educate salespeople is to bring your messaging to the sales huddle meetings. Walk them through the framework and the key talking points. Encourage them to ask questions. Tell them where the file will be and follow up with email. You know what? Follow up with several emails. And here is ugly reality. No matter how many times you communicate, they're still going to come to you and ask you, hey, you know what? You sent us that messaging information a while back. Can you send that again? So make sure you have the link ready to send. Or if you have a sales content library, you can direct them to the library and ask them to download from there. Following brand guidelines and the messaging helps salespeople stay on brand. And the best way to share that information is to be part of a sales communications, onboarding, and training. So Chris, I hope I answered your question. How do you share information with your sales team? Let me know so we can keep learning from each other. 
All right. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. If you enjoyed this podcast, please share it with your colleagues and leave a review on iTunes.